We've all heard the saying, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It doesn't matter how old you are, or what your walk of life is, or where you grew up, everyone has heard the saying to one extent or the other. But what does it really mean? What is this golden rule, and is it biblical? When Jesus was on earth, he taught a lot about how we ought to live and live with one another. Matthew 7, 12 says, So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. Jesus told us the one basic principle we must all live by in order to live harmoniously with each other and encompass morality. Though the rule talks about human-to-human -human interactions and relationships, it also is speaking on our relationship with God. When we are fully aligned with the will of God, this rule is simply a way of life. By acting this way to everyone around us, we are also more likely to display the fruits of the Spirit, which God calls all believers to have. Galatians 5, 22 to 23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. So when we are filled with the fruit of the Spirit, we're going to walk in an attitude to do unto others as we would have them do unto us. This golden rule can also be summed up by the second commandment, to love your neighbor as yourself. When you put yourself in someone else's shoes, you're going to treat them better, love them more, and give them more grace for their shortcomings. So as you go out today and meet people, spend time with your kids or spouse, a coworker, remember the golden rule. Remember Jesus's words. Treat them in a way that honors and glorifies God and do unto them as you would have them do unto you. And that is what it really means.